Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster who wanted to know how to get rid of this green spot. And there's actually another spot up here. I'm going to zoom in and show you exactly what's going on here. It's the sun back here that's uh, reflecting in it. There's a flare in the lens here. What we're going to do first is make a copy of this layer. So I'm going to go up here, right click and hit duplicate layer. And there's a copy. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the bottom layer. So I got two different layers. Let's go ahead and take turn off the bottom layer, leave the top layer on and choose it. First, we want to get rid of what we want to change as far as the color is concerned. So let's go ahead and grab an eraser and that's at 50 point. That looks pretty good. I want to erase everything here. I'm just tapping it here and include about everything that's green because later on, we're going to be able to replace that. So we don't want to leave anything that's green. So I'm just going to do that like that. And that looks pretty good right there. Now I'm going to turn on the bottom layer again. So it's going to come right back that green because it's the bottom layer that we didn't erase. So let's go ahead and change that by going enhance color skin tone. And I'm going to pick this green and watch what happens when I pick it. Boom, it automatically tries to color correct for that greenness, but it's obviously kind of in the reds. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and change the color temperature here and bring it up like this. And you can see it started to change color a little bit closer to what his skin tone is. And I like it right around here. That looks pretty close. I'm going to hit OK. Next, what we want to do is change the lighting conditions. So we take that same layer, go to Enhance lighting and brightness and now we can play around with the brightness and contrast i'm going to start with the contrast and lessen the contrast and you see that the layer underneath becomes nice and soft now we can lessen the brightness until it starts to match our original look at that i'll hit ok now we want to soften the edges here that are still showing so i'm going to take that top layer and grab the smudge tool and it's set at 25 percent that looks good i'm going to smudge some of the original picture down here so that it covers some of this dark patchy area and it helps smudge the old picture underneath with our new version on top and get those colors working again but as you can see we're losing the whole beard right in this part here so let's go ahead and make a new layer i'm going to hit new layer right here now what we want to do is grab the eyedropper tool and grab a dark portion of his beard right around there. We can grab a brush and we can draw in a new beard. And obviously it's not going to look perfect. And I'll do a little dot up here. Now we can grab the smudge tool and smudge that in so that it fills out portions that are missing. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to see what it looks like underneath, all you have to do is just toggle it back and forth up here. See that? So I can see exactly where I need to come down to. Go into his hair line here. And that's basically redrawing with a nice soft brush, just smudging everything back into his hair. And now all we have to do is take the opacity here and play around with it from nothing to too much. And let's bring it down to where it's believable. And there's our new beard and hair, but, but the color is a little bit off. So all we got to do is go to enhance color, hue saturation, and we can just change the saturation a little bit less. And you can see it's starting to match in more. See, I could do overly saturated or not enough where it's black and white or just somewhere in between where it's just believable somewhere around, I'd say right, right around there. Cause his hair is more salt and peppery. And then finally with the lightness, I can darken it or I can lighten it or just kind of go back and forth until it looks just right, right around there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. When we zoom back out, you really can't tell that there was any sun flares anymore. And that's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits saying over and out.